welcome back uh, RC time just got the front retract in um, nearly happy with it not quite um, I haven't got a scale front retract to go on it um, did wonder about nicking one off my Russian L L130 but that's uh, such a good flying airplane I don't want to um, lose one off that and um, but uh, being Russian um, and from the pictures I can see the L39 leg is very very similar to the L130 front nose leg but I've got one in and that's working um, and that ain't too bad this, this needs to just go down a touch more but I shall um, splint it out and uh, sort that out and adjust that up so that that goes down into the fuselage a little bit more um, and uh, at least that's in now uh, a little bit of tidying up to do. I've got a small piece of wood to put back in here where I had needed to get in to put the servo in for the steering. Um, but yeah, slowly getting there. So um, I just thought I'd show you the fuselage. I haven't really done much on it since um, we last spoke on the fuselage subject. Uh, a little bit here and there, but I've got plenty of sanding to do on it. I haven't done any more sheeting as of yet so as I said to you the rest of the sheeting now will be done when the tile's done so let's have a look managed to break that um, yeah so it's still basically all the same um, as you can see all the tops got to be done yet I've, I've done a little bit of filling around here whenever I had any filler on the go um, a little bit on the front the front's coming on nicely now the nose gear is in yeah so just a lot of sanding to do um, the wing flarens here, they're all coming on nicely, a little bit rough. I've got some more adjustments to do when we fit it to the wing. Um, but in general, that's now starting to come together. Um, so, yeah, it is slowly getting there now. Um, lots of work to do yet, and it starts getting fiddlier and fiddlier. Um, the servos are all in for the elevators with the rods um, I've done them exactly how the plan says it's not necessarily my favorite way these these days I'm getting very used to putting the, the servos actually in the elevators uh, similar to how I've done the rudder you know so the servo was there short arm nice and easy um, but I haven't done it with these elevators they're, they're not a very thick elevator to get a servo buried in nicely um, so so I have followed the plan on it um, put the servos basically where they show on the plan although my servos are quite a large servo um, they've gone in with a little adjustment and the rods are all in and they're all adjusted and they all should be roughly right to fit straight up once the elevators and go on uh, later on so that's coming on nicely I had a little play broke that um, with the canopy um, I haven't done the canopy as such but I have made up the oh, plug to go in here so I've made that up um, I have had it fitted there we go so that's now near enough ready it's got a little bit of shaping down here this end to do need a little bit off here off here and then the canopy put on it uh, but that won't take too long so I got a little bit of a bend there oh no it's not down properly anyway so a little bit of sanding and shaping to do on that and just to get that finished nicely um, and then that's ready for the canopy to go on it um, that shouldn't take too long yeah, so it's all sort of slowly coming together. 
um, you know there's you know there's lots of bits I'd love to get on with and can't get on with um, but we are now really starting to head that way so I'm glad I got the news gear in like I say the next thing will be I probably won't film it because I'll need as much space as possible but I need to now get the wing properly fitted now to the fuselage and then um, we can start looking at fitting the uh, tail plane which I'll definitely try and fil fit film for you um, so yeah yeah it's all slowly coming along so yeah I hope you're still enjoying it so, yeah so, yeah yeah I um tested the ducting and started the fan up the other day that seems okay I only started it up on three cell not six cell what it will be on but it seemed to be working efficiently um, I should have a little bit of cooling for the airplane that should all work all right so yeah that's just a case of just keep going at it once you start on this filling job and uh, that's uh, fill sand fill sand Fill and sand <laughs> and we just do that continuously for a while so there you have it it do sand easy anyway so really starting to take shape now so we're getting there I think I have told you the filler I use um, it's not a modeler's filler but it definitely does a nice job and um, you can see from that that sounds nice so yeah it sounds very nice just take a while to dry wow that's all very good now see that's nice you'd think you had a crack think you had a crack there but it isn't it's actually got the white glue in it filling the hole yeah lots more to do it's got a bit more filling yeah so I think I told you before polyfiller advance works lovely it's lightweight this whole tube God, has 200 mil worth in volume of filler in here um it can't work way more than sort of 30 grams that's ever so light so so if you go to a hardware shop somewhere just pick a tube up and have a feel see what you think about it you know if you think it's a good idea for seven quid try some i find it very easy and works in very well um and it seems to work out a bit cheaper than uh, modelers filler from the model shop Yeah, I use these. I get um, 
just bought another hundred of these. I usually use a credit card if I, can, if I haven't got any of these, but um, Barclays get a bit fed up with keep issuing me new ones. Um, but these are just ID cards. They're a little bit flexible compared to a credit card, which make them quite good. Um, uh, I think uh, one one of you guys did uh, comment about um, car body fillers, um, rubber spatulas. They are brilliant. I've used them before. My only trouble with them is they're not that cheap to buy and I keep forgetting to clean them. Whereas these are nice and cheap. So I can uh, afford to replace them a bit better. I think they're about ten pound for a hundred of these, so yeah, so roughly ten p a piece. They're actually dead on ten p a piece. Find don't skimp on filler. You know, it's, it's very easy to think, oh, I don't want to use too much, or I don't want to add too much weight. At the end of the day, you've got to use whatever it takes to fill it and to get the shape you want. And anything that you don't need, you're sanding off anyway. So you're not going to add weight more than what you need to add. So if you put a lot on, you put on a lot more than what you need it doesn't matter because you're sanding it off so don't worry about putting too much on it's not putting enough on which can be a pain or can be time consuming if you have to keep going back Right, there we go. As I say, I'm pleased I got the front retract in. Little adjustments to do with it, but nothing serious. Um, so it's now starting to get there. So it's actually starting to look like an airplane. It's got a fairly good shape. It's nice and straight up the centre line. So that'll be it then. So yeah, I've got a bit of sanding to do on the tailplane in a little while. That should be dry for today. Um, elevators and ailerons, they're all done. So, yeah, that's perfect. Um, I say it looked quite nice. Quite nice. Just, uh, come about there. Yep. Yeah, it's all starting to get there. All right. I hope you enjoyed this little show. Uh, not much happening. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, it's starting to get there. All right. Okay. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.